In this lecture, you are going to learn how to create a DNS resource record for both forward and reverse lookup zones. Now let's start by creating a DNS resource record in a forward lookup zone. I'm going to create an entry in the My Test Zone that I created earlier. Left click on the desired zone to expand the zone, and then right click on the zone and choose Other New Records. From this list, we can choose any type of resource record that we want. I'm going to choose a CNAME resource record and click Create Record. On the next screen, I'm going to enter DC for the alias name. The fully qualified domain name will be itfdc01.itflea.com. You can also click the Browse button and locate the FQDN of the host you're looking for. So basically, we're going to create an alias for our domain controller. Now I'll click OK and create the record. I can click Done when I'm returned to the Resource Record Type window, and now I will see the new alias I've created for itfdc01.itflea.com. You can right-click on the record and choose to either delete it or edit its properties. Under the Properties, you will find a Security tab. Here you can choose who is able to edit the resource record. The default options here are fine, but it's good to know that if you want to allow another user group to make changes to the resource record, you can do that here. Click Cancel. Now let's create a reverse PTR or pointer resource record for the itfdc01.itflea.com server. Expand the Reverse Lookup Zones folder and select the Reverse Lookup Zone for your subnet. Right click on the subnet and choose New Pointer or PTR. Enter the IP address for the host. In my case, it is 10.0.2.10, and then enter the host name, which is itfdc01.itflea.com. Click OK to create the pointer record. Now let's complete a forward lookup by searching our newly created resource record in the My Test Zone. Right click on your DNS server, which is itfdc01 in my case and select Launch NS Lookup. The alias we created was called dc.mytestzone, so that's what we want to search for. We can see that we found the fqdn itfdc01.itflea.com, and it has the alias of dc.mytestzone. This is perfect. Now let's run a reverse lookup by searching for the host name that holds the IP address of 10.0.2.10. All we need to do in order to run the reverse lookup is enter the IP address we want to find, so I will do that now. We can see again that the DNS server showed us the fully qualified domain name of the host name that is holding this IP address. Keep in mind that if we were using command prompt and not the NS lookup tool, we would need to prefix all of these commands with the NS lookup command. So instead of simply typing in 10.0.2.10, we would need to type in an S lookup and then 10.0.2.10. Okay, so now you know how to create a resource record in both a forward and reverse lookup zone. Great job getting through this lecture, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.